If you've got a seriously matted cat and you're wondering what can I do at home, if you're not, you're going to get the answers in this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Murray, my new-ish cat who hasn't been in a pile of videos in part because he's figured out the camera and he's just not so keen on me doing stuff to him. But today seemed like a really good time to make a video. Murray's got some serious mats. I'm bribing him up here with some yummy canned food. Oh, his favorite. But it's, what I want to show you is all the mats. They're all back here. And I grabbed the bait, his tail base, these big thick chunks of matted fur. He isn't doing the best job grooming himself. I need to demat him. I want to do it in the least stressful way possible and relay that to you guys. If you have a cat who gets mad, it's difficult to demat, you want to find a quick and easy way to do it. So the first thing is I'm going to give Murray something just to take the edge off. A bit of a natural type sedative. I'm going to give you guys two options. So the first thing easiest for you guys to all get is Rescue Remedy. I've got it here. You know, so it's just three or four drops. It's a flower remedy. A lot, lots of cats really respond well to it. You can pick it up at any pharmacy. You know, I'm going to give Murray five drops just under, under his tongue. You want to wait about five minutes. But for those of you who want something uh, more natural that may be even more effective would be this uh, CBD or CBD oil if you are able to get it. It's another real relatively fast acting, very safe, uh, natural type sedative and it's going to probably work a little bit more effectively than the rescue remedy, although it is a little more difficult to get. CBD dose. We're looking at about 0.1 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Murray's, I'm gonna estimate Murray's closer to 20 pounds. Um, with this uh, CBD concentration, we're looking at each drop is 0.1 of a milligram. So I want Murray to get 0.2 milligrams, he's gonna get two drops. Here's our yummy CBD, Murray. Let's shake it up. It's got MCT oil as a base, just like coconut oil. So it tastes okay. I'll drop the mouth. Oh, there you go, Murray. 15 minutes has gone by. Now let's see if Murray's a little more amenable to dematting. Our less willing patient is here. Seems a little bit calmer. All right, yes. That's called CBD. Uh huh. It's a good thing to be dematted. So I've brought in the old standby. More food, seems to work for Murray. So the next thing is gonna take out some coconut oil, get that in a bowl, let it warm up a little bit. And we're gonna use that to rub into his fur to help loosen it up and make it a little bit easier for us to pull away those mats. So we're not actually pulling them really painfully away from the skin. And I'll just warm some of it up in my hand. We're just gonna put, rub that through Murray's fur, help loosen up those mats. So the couple good things about coconut oil. First of all, it works really well to penetrate into the fur, loosen the mats. Secondly, too, Murray can groom himself with the coconut oil and it's completely fine in terms of it's safe for him to ingest. A couple big things, you know. There are other things people will use as conditioner, but they're not necessarily safe for your cat. So it's just an inexpensive, natural way. So while you're doing it, I want you to really use your fingers and you kind of, he's got some big mats right here on the side. And just sort of work your way into those mats right there at the base of the skin. Because that's the issue, is right there. And that's where it's really painful and difficult to pull out. Let's try the dematting and see how that's going to work. Okay, Murray. Got a couple options here. One, this is just a standard curry comb, curry comb brush. You know, so it's just got these little fine tooth bristles. It'll help take out some of the fur. 
in a little more gentle way. If you, you know, so I'm just starting off the middle of his back, working, work, working my way down to his tail base, which you can do. But as you can see, it's just, just getting the fur on the top. It's not getting down to those mats. So this here is a little bit more, this is one which has the fine tooth, but it also has a little cutting section to it. So it's better, first it's better able to get right at the base of his skin. And then as you can see, I can actually pull away some of those mats. Oh, it's okay, Murray, we're just gonna get the mats off. So as you can see, he's not, you know, maybe he's not crazy about it, but he's actually letting me do it. There, Murray, look at that. Okay, let's see how much of this stuff we can get out. Because it's gotta be so, first of all, a couple of reasons. First of all, it's uncomfortable being matted. Secondly, it can be a medical problem. You've got this fur right next to the skin. Real easy thing to get inflamed. Get it moist, bacteria is gonna grow there. One of the big natural ways that our cats are able to keep themselves without things like skin infections is they're grooming themselves. Okay. <laughs> All right. He is way more tolerant than normal. It's gotta be the CBD. Okay, that comes to the end of Murray's dematting session. Um, it seemed to work really well. He way more amenable than normal. It was a lot easier just to pull through those mats because I'd added in the coconut oil. Got this nice little de-shedding tool that has the blade on it. I was able to actually grab the base, right at the base of the skin and kind of break up those mats. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. If you've yet to do so, I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe. Click down there to like this video. You also have to give Marie a thumbs up. And lastly, when you click the link further in the box below, I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies. Oh there, kitty kitty. It's all over. It's just a nightmare.